Hey, what's up? My name is Henry and I'm an engineer, stock investor, real estate investor out of San Francisco. And today I want to do a reaction on Tyler Hero, how he spent his first million. This is from GQ Sports. I've been around the block, you know, lived it up. And now I'm at a point where, man, I'm all about investing, all about saving, all about getting to that financial freedom. So I'm, I'm curious to hear how he spent his first million. Is that a million? Yeah. Oh, this is a million right here? Yeah. Oh, damn. We got a lot of money to spend. <laughs> Never seen a million bucks on the table. That's I'm interesting. originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Greenfield, Wisconsin, a suburb right outside of Milwaukee. Damn, cool. My first like job was I worked for my dad doing like, snow plowing and stuff like that. I'd probably say like $10 an hour. I probably worked for like five hours a night. Quick 50. I went That's to the cool. University of Kentucky make some money. in college. You know, we'd go to the mall a lot, I would say. We weren't able to obviously buy as much, but going to the mall, buying clothes, you know, going to the movies, things like that. Um, Normal just, stuff? We were in a, a small college town. Conversations definitely come Damn. up. In high school and college, like talking Rookie to my friends, coming up. Like, to the NBA, I would probably like get a car. That's a dream to be able to, you know, make a lot of money doing something you love. Getting drafted by Miami. How did that feel going from Milwaukee to Miami? Uh, it was obviously a big adjustment. Obviously the weather being you know, one thing and then the lifestyle, being able to play basketball in a beautiful city, it's, it's really nothing better. And no state income tax in Florida, so that was another perk to coming to Miami. Yeah, damn, that was nice. I figured it was gonna be a lot damn, of money. No state so income tax, like man. 3.6 million was a lot. It was amazing to be able to see that. You know, that's a lot of money for a young kid, but I felt like I worked for all of it. Coming from like no money to uh, having a lot of money, I knew I was gonna have to get like a financial advisor and everything like that. He kind of came to me financial with a long-term plan with the money I have now, so see saying that I never make another NBA contract. The four years or five years that my contract is now will set me up for the rest of my life. I have a physically demanding job. Yo, that's smart. That's smart. You're already thinking that this is your last contract, right? Like just play this out, whatever, maybe even whatever's guaranteed. Just look at whatever's guaranteed and then off of that, try to build something up that could last you the rest of your life. And it could. He was talking about three million bucks a year. Jeez, oh my goodness, like that's smart. Okay, smart for, for a kid just coming in, rookie, doing so well in the NBA finals now. Man, this is awesome. You know, so I have to really set aside a certain amount of money for my post career and what I'm going to do after basketball. Smart. All right, so let's talk about my first million. Gucci purse. Oh. The very first thing I bought, I think, was a Gucci purse for my mom. I was in New York. Uh, that is okay with me. That is okay with me. I was going to say, you know, like, I'm not about being the most frugal guy ever, right? But you... While you're trying to grow your money and try to build something, you should be smart with your money though, right? Just buy what you need. And then sometimes, you know, if you plan for it, save for it, you could splurge all you want. But hey, for his mom, and he's making that much money, I mean, I, I can't say nothing. That, that's, all, that's cool. Um, by myself with some friends, and I had just seen it at the Gucci store and bought it for $5,000. Awesome. Woo! Uh, Gucci purse do it. for mom. Ah. I bought two cars. I bought a Jeep and then a Mercedes. I got a S-Class S63 AMG 2020. Ooh, S63. I bought it in Kentucky, a dealership in Kentucky, and then they sent it down here. It was 200000 Fancy. I guess you're a rookie. You came out. You're making bucks. You, you got to do it once, I guess. You got to blow it and then see how it depreciates and then you learn hopefully and i mean he's already being smart with his money about investing and thinking about how he's going to pay for stuff even after his career so i mean as long as you save a good portion of it invest it um it may, 200k he got he got to do he, he can do what he got to do damn that count some more <laughs> that's one I like it just uh, white and black, simple. Tinted windows uh, for the sun, and then all black rims. I had to pay for the Fancy. tinted windows. How much were it? Uh, like three hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Tinted 300. windows, three hundred dollars. 
for the Mercedes Benz. Oh. <laughs> 20% of the way there, okay, okay. I bought the Jeep from a dealership down here in uh, Miami, a Jeep Wrangler, customized. We take off the top sometimes, you know, sometimes it's too hot down here, so we had to take it off. 60,000. 60,000. Jeep, I get it, I get it. I have a, a buddy that I know that's into it, and it can get, it can get real fancy with the Jeeps, and I, I get that, that lifestyle, that life. It sounds really good. So I'm okay, I mean, just, just get out of your system, get some cars. Four-door Jeep Wrangler. Jeep was already tinted uh, windows when we, when we bought it. All right, cool, so no extra 300 No extra 300 for the Jeep. <laughs> Save me a couple dollars. That's cool, save whatever you can. Save a couple dollars, every dollar counts. Well, weekends in Miami, I love going to South Beach. I'm just looking to, for clothes, shopping. Uh, there's a place called Webster's, that's really nice. And then the design district has a lot of Dior and different type of stores like that. Fancy. Clothing, 85,000. 85,000? Damn. What was your favorite brand before you got that? Uh, I shopped at PacSun a lot. Like I like just basic stuff, but it's cheap and you can Yeah, what's wrong with PacSun? PacSun's cool. Uh, Dior. <laughs> Christian Dior. <laughs> <laughs> he upgraded. Yeah, I'm he upgraded still shopping Dior. Packs on sometimes for sure. Okay, what cool. What is the best style of the top three? Uh, top three, uh, me, Kendrick Nunn, and I'm gonna just say KZ, Acapella. All three rookies have the best clothing. If Jimmy were to like, watch this video, would you agree with that? <laughs> nah, Jimmy would definitely put himself in there. <laughs> Oh, here we go. My first apartment, a realtor down here in Miami helped me find it. 5,000 a month for rent and utilities. Okay. Okay, now, dude, there you go. Dude, okay, just coming out and renting, I'm cool with that. You just do 5,000 bucks. I mean, he could afford it, 5,000 bucks a month. I mean, not jumping in and just buying something, I think that's actually smart, unless it makes him money. Because right now, you're just buying some place to live. There's a lot of fees, there's a lot of stuff going on. It doesn't make sense to just buy something at a stage. Rather just rent and invest the rest. 60,000 in rent. <laughs> I'm renting an apartment right now that I live in, but in the near future, I do want to do something in real estate that is something that really intrigues me away from the court. Okay, we'll see if it's, he talking about rentals or flips or wholesale stuff. The team has a nutritionist, but I actually hired my own chef. My nutritionist works for the team, so the nutritionist and chef, they all kind of work together. We'll say about 20,000 a year on my private chef. Oh, well, that's not bad, not bad. 20,000 for my- For the year? Not bad, man. So having a chef just take care of you, I mean, I think in his, in his, uh, in, in sports, I mean, you gotta take care of your body, you gotta take care of your, yourself, so I, that's money well spent. My chef. My favorite meal, um, I like like chicken alfredo with uh, chicken and shrimp. <laughs> Dude, I love that. No, I love least that too. favorite? I don't have a least favorite meal. Like, if I don't like it, I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> I'll take care of mom. My mom a car. That was like one of the first things I wanted to do. So yeah, once do I it. did get paid, I uh, bought her a Porsche. About 80,000. Mom's fancy, a Porsche. 80,000 Porsche. Man, he's almost there, like halfway there to a million bucks. I brought it home one day back in Milwaukee. Someone delivered it to my house and then uh, she came outside and kind of just seen it was in our driveway. She was just very excited, she didn't believe it. She got in the car and kind of took it for a ride. Dang, that's awesome. Take care of mama. I eat out a lot. My favorite restaurant in Miami is uh, Prime 112. Probably go there a couple times a month, I'd say. The night after I got drafted, I did a big celebration dinner and I took uh, all my friends and family. My agency, uh, really just everybody took them out to dinner. So That's draft awesome. day celebration and Gotta take care of your, Prime 112. Your peoples. For dinners over the year, I will probably end up spending about $10,000. 10000 okay. My dad, yeah, I got him a car too. He likes trucks. Damn, so that's a lot of cars. A GMC truck. 
So I bought my dad a GMC truck for forty thousand. So oh, that's 40, normal stuff. That's cool. GMC that's truck. Cool. Gotta, gotta get dad a truck. Come on. Yo, in the artwork already? I'm in the art too. I bought Dang. a $4,000 painting. It's like a portrait of me from middle school, high school, college, MBA. I was an artist That's in cool. Denver that I met. We kind of collabed together. Um, I told her I wanted something where I kind of grew over the years and she had an idea and she kind of came up with that That's painting. really cool. How much was that though? Out of panel, what would you want that panel to be? Me holding the NBA championship trophy with the Miami Heat. On the Miami Heat. I don't know now though. I just Custom I just saw paintings for around they're down house, 10, uh, one three so ten thousand custom paint okay what that's, that's a nice nice thing for yourself I would say this is the best gift I've received so far a paddock two tone my teammate uh, gifted to me for my birthday gifted hey I have bought my for own his birthday necklace. that's awesome I had my brand logo and then a Cuban sort of like this I got my chain from Iceman Nick. I got linked up through a teammate. Uh, we met in Houston when we played the Rockets and we kind of customized the chain for me. Cool. How much was the chain? Uh, 30,000. 30,000, okay. Damn. I guess that's not that so bad. Not the worst. I have accessories you know, for him. Glasses. These glasses were really the first glasses I bought when I got paid. They're Louis Vuitton glasses. They cost about $1,000. Probably about 10 pairs of glasses. Miami is a very sunny what place. What in the world? How much? I needed these glasses and the rest of the glasses I have purchased so far. A thousand bucks. I needed ah. these glasses and the rest of the glasses I it's, have purchased it's, so far. It's a good far. amount, but it's not, it's not the craziest thing. Ten thousand in glasses. That's a lot. Hopefully, man, he keeps it under control. What was your favorite brand of I'm glasses not going out before you got glasses? They're I, too I, much. Honestly, I bought my glasses like in like the mall, like in the low kiosk things, like the. Yeah, sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> sunglasses. Okay. We're only five months into my rookie hat. season. I have not spent a million dollars yet, but this Dude, is what I've go. spent so far. Dude, I feel good. I feel like. Dude, I saw savings investments. I'm okay with that. Okay, that's cool. If he's, that's 400k right there. If he's investing that and letting that thing grow, and then doing that, continuing to do that in the future, he he's onto something. I can do a little bit more spending. It feels good to be no, able to no, you know, don't take do more care spending. of my family. That's a dream that I've always wanted to do is take care of my younger brothers. Yep. You know, my two parents. I gave my mom a car, my dad a car. Just want to continue to do that. Take care of your parents by investing and having the money that it pays off, like that it spits off, to cover them, to cover everybody. Find some investments like real estate or dividends, something that will pay for itself and give you income. Use that to take care of people. That's the way to do it. Don't just spend your money. Hopefully he's, uh, he's on track to do that. So I think this is it for this one. This was kind of cool. I think this was a little bit, I felt like it was under control because I get this idea that these NBA guys are just blowing through money, buying like Bentleys and Ferraris and this is okay. This is, this is, this is not the worst that, you know, like a S63, you know, normal people buy S63s. So this is not like the worst case scenario. This is okay to me. So I think he's, he's on track. He's doing good. I think with so much information and, you know, on, you know, how to take care of your finances out there. And I think they have training when they first come in the NBA. It sounds like he's listening. So hopefully he keeps this going and he'll be, he'll be good. So um, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.